You man, what up, man? It's your main man. It's the kid. It's the kid. It's the kid. It's the kid. It's the kid, man. So we are rolling off in here, man, because you know, as I thought, you know, for a nice little Friday night chin work, Friday night re -re relaxation, I'm gonna do a little Champions League um, draw preview, man, because I just thought, what the hell? Why did why did they put these things in so so damn tight? Don't you know that guys want it? Um, so basically, um. The draw is coming up, of course, on Monday. Um, why it's not Friday, I have, I have no idea. Shameless promotion. Um, and this as well. So basically, so the draw is coming. So I just thought, you know what, I've, I've, I've pretty much broken down all the teams that have gone through. And I just want to just give, you know, my little 16 cents on favorites. Possible confrontations, possible paths, and just how I think um, things may, may go in the next round of the, the draw. Because you know what? I do feel that before we started, hmm, surprising. Before I started the champion, I think a lot of my favorite out and out was. Barcelona. I didn't know how Real Madrid would do with Cristiano gone. There's no the effects of Cristiano on Juventus. And um, with, 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 with Liverpool, I wasn't sure whether they would get to the final yet again for a second year running. So, and I just don't, don't, don't do not trust PSG and again for Bani Nik, Niko Kovac new match and everything. So, but with this being said, so the winners got Dortmund, you got Juventus, you got Barcelona, you got PSG. FC, I think FC Porto had one of the best records in the first round. Um, Bayern, Man City, Real Madrid. Now, I want to I want to start with Dortmund, which is a team who I think are outsiders. If if, if you look at Barcelona, Man City, Juventus, I think in our second tier. You have Dortmund and you have Liverpool there as well. So Dortmund could face. Um, see, this is what this is what who Dortmund I think who Dortmund should hope for. I think Dortmund can beat you, United. Dortmund, it's going to be tough, but I think they can beat Tottenham. But that would be a tough game. Dortmund Liverpool, I think that's a dream game to have. That can go either way. That'll be an amazing game. So that's hard to to call. Um, they can't play Schalke. Ajax, that's a tricky one. Ajax, you know, Ajax is a tricky team of the number two. As long as, as long, um, along with Atlético Madrid, Ajax is a team I think you'd want to you'd want to avoid. That's a tricky one to avoid. Um, Dortmund, I think, would beat Lyon, and Dortmund would beat Roma. So I just think that the team I think Dortmund will want to really avoid is Ajax and Liverpool. Those are the two things I think I think they would they, would, they definitely want, 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 want to avoid. Dortmund Liverpool would be amazing. So for Juventus, I feel Juventus against. I feel they are they're one of the favorites. I think Cristiano maybe gives them that extra edge. So Juve don't want Atletico Madrid. That's a bad matchup. As good as Juventus may be, second round over two legs. Atletico Madrid, that's just a very tricky game. That's a very tricky game to go. So I think you even want to avoid them. Um, Juventus can beat Tottenham. Tough game. Tottenham will give them, give them a game, but I think Juve will be able to navigate over two legs. Juve want to avoid Liverpool. I think Liverpool are another team that like, guys want to avoid. I think Juve want to avoid Liverpool. That's not a good matchup for Liverpool because there's some, there's some speed there. And just with what those that front three can do if they're on form... I think can really give Ke Ke Kellini and people some some issues. But Juventus, I I think Juve can beat Liverpool, but again, I don't think that's a matchup that they would want. They, again, Juve can beat Schalke. Ajax, again, I think Juve can beat Ajax. Not really a matchup they want, but I think they, they would beat Ajax. And they'd come to beat Leon and they'd come to beat Roma. Um, Barcelona. So obviously the can face Atletico Barcelona would snipe open and give birth, birth to Man United twice. They 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 did give them tri triplets. So Barcelona would beat United. Barcelona. Um, 
It's not the ones Liverpool. That's a bad match for, for Barcelona, especially with what I've seen teams do to Barcelona at the Camp Nou, with Betis, Bilbao, and so forth. I don't think Barcelona beat Liverpool over two legs. I think I don't. I don't. I don't think that's that. That's a good match for for, for Barcelona. Um, Barcelona would snipe Schalke. They'd beat Ajax. They'd beat them. I mean, Ajax. I think would give them an issue, but I think they would beat Ajax. They'd beat Leon and they and they and they, they beat Roma comfortably. So that would be fine. PSG. PSG, let's 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 look at PSG. Because look, man, I still maintain my view on PSG that they're a team that cannot be, be trusted. And I just hope that no, no excuses. Neymar is fit. That's what I want that for Neymar to be fit. So PSG. Don't beat us, let's go my grid. Let's go beat them over two legs. PSG will destroy United. PSG Tottenham is a tricky one. <laughs> over two legs, that's a, a, a tricky one with the kind of players that Tottenham have and how they play. I I think PSG wants to avoid Tottenham. I think PSG would want to avoid Tottenham. Um they'd beat Schalke. That'll be fine. They would cause them issues, but they would, they would, they would beat Ajax. But I think they would, they would, overall they would beat Ajax, but they would cause them issues. They'd beat Leon. Oh, so, sorry, sorry. What a mistake. They can't face Leon. They'd beat Roma. That'd be fine. So PSG would beat Roma. So I think for PSG, they definitely want to avoid Tottenham. That's one they want to avoid. So Porto. Um, I don't think Porto beats Atletico. They beat United. They'd beat Tottenham, I think. I think they'd beat Tottenham. I don't think they'd beat Liverpool, but it's tricky. I think against Liverpool, it could be tit for tat. Because I think Porto might be pretty strong this year, but I thought Liverpool, I'm not, I think, mm, I don't think they beat Liverpool. I don't think they beat Ajax. I think Ajax beats them. I, th I don't think FC Porto beats Ajax over, over two legs. I'm not sure they beat Lyon over two legs. They beat Roma. So I think Porto would want to avoid Liverpool, Ajax, Lyon. Um, Bayern, Bayern Munich, the big boys, the the big boys. So let's look at Bayern. Bayern, Bayern Atletico can can go either way. That literally is a 50, 50, 50, 50 game. That is a fifty fifty game. I think Bayern Atletico can can go either way. Bayern would destroy United. Um, Bayern Tottenham is tricky. I think Bayern would edge that, but it would be tricky. Bayern Liverpool, again, tricky. I think Bayern may edge that, but I think if Bayern are fully fit, I just think Bayern's quality and their prowess and their marksmen will just be the difference. The difference maker between them and Liverpool, because again, if Lewandowski is Lewandowski, he'll make he'll, he'll make it happen. And if if Coman is fit, I just think that the I just think the attacking prowess that they have in the middle and on the flanks that I think will, 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 be, will be too much for, for Liverpool. Um, so they can't face Schalke. They, they, they beat Leon and they beat Roma. Roma. Um, Man City, one of the favourites. I think City beats Atletico. I think City would... It would be hard, it would be tough, but I think they beat, they, they'd beat Atletico. Um, I don't know. Um, they'd beat Schalke. They'd beat Ajax. And they'd beat Rome. So literally, the only thing that City would want to avoid is Atletico. Apart from that, I feel they can pretty much beat any other team. Yeah, they can pretty much beat any, any, any other team. So I think for City, I don't think they have too much really to worry about. And even if they did get Atletico... I would give City the edge of Atletico over two legs. So for City, it's looking good. I think it was good that they did the only group. Real Madrid break. Now, guys, so some some people have been taking this very personal because there's been an argument on my Instagram. Because this dude insulted me and called me like because of my whole career, my past. Everything called me useless and everything. And I was like, maybe because I now refer to him as Real Madrid Brick. I don't refer to him as Real Madrid Brick. 
as I said on, on the flipping video, I was only reading out a statement. The statement came from the Brick Academy, which has mandated me because the Brick Academy just does fund, not really, but allegedly, the Brick Academy allegedly funds because they're still having court cases. They have a football hot. So I am bound by contract to do what the Brick Academy says. And they said that for at least the next 28 days, they have to be referred to as Real Madrid Brick. So I'm sorry, that's what I'm, that's what I'm doing. It's not Real Madrid, it's Real Madrid Brick. So Real Madrid Madrid Brick. Um, so the can't face at pleasure at all. <laughs> Against United, it's touch and go. Against United, it's touch and go. If the right United show up, I think they can knock out Real Madrid. Real Madrid do not beat Tottenham over two legs. Real Madrid do not beat Liverpool over two legs. They beat Schalke over two legs. I don't think Real Madrid beats Ajax over two, two legs. And Real Madrid do not beat Leon over, over two, two legs. And that's just me, me being real. I'm sorry. This team that I have seen here, Real Madrid break. Um, that's just me being real. So, those are all of the top teams in there. Um... So when you look at the teams who have really finished second, and I, I said the favourites, well, not really the favourites, but one of the strongest sides who finished second. So, looking, so we look at Atletico right, right now. I think for Atletico, they'd really want to avoid, they'd, they'd want to avoid Juventus. They'd want to avoid um, Bayern. No, no. I think definitely Juventus and Man City are two teams that Atletico definitely would want to avoid. Apart from that, I think Atletico can boogie on down with PSG. I think they can beat Porto. And I think that I think they can beat Bayern. Even if I may give Bayern the edge, I think they can beat Bayern. I don't think they can beat either Man City or Juventus. And I just think they will be very tough games. Looking at Liverpool right now. Um, I think Liverpool against Dortmund, I think that's just tr tricky. Yes, they can beat Dortmund, but that's a very tricky game. Because I think for Dortmund have weapons and a style that can really that can get at Liverpool even if Liverpool are slightly much more balanced and much more defensive I just feel that there is some very skillful players that Dortmund have that can cause them some, some issues um I don't think Liverpool want to face Juventus this this early on I'm not sure that Liverpool can can defeat Juventus I think I was hearing Drifty and Drifty was saying to me that oh no 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 man look man we, we can easily beat some Juventus chill um Liverpool can, I think Liverpool can beat Barcelona, but I think they'd want to avoid them this early on. I don't think Liverpool would really be like, yeah, but I think if Liverpool face Barcelona, I think they can they can be beat them. But it's very difficult because, again, if, you, if you've got a dude whose free kicks are penalties, that becomes very tricky. And I think Messi is a difference maker. Messi is a guy that can conjure up something out of nothing when he wants to. Um, they can beat Porto. I think Liverpool beat Porto. Bayern... Tricky, tricky. Um, and Real Madrid fans, so I think Liverpool would want to avoid Juventus and Bayern. I think Liverpool would deal with Real Madrid. I think they'd deal with Real Madrid. So, yeah, so really looking at this right now, um, I think that the best game that is a possibility would be Dortmund Liverpool. I think that would be the best game. A very interesting heavyweight matchup, I think, mostly involves Atletico. So I think Juventus Atletico would be crazy. Um, Bayern Atletico would be crazy. So those are the ones that are right there. So yeah, man, look, man, I mean, I think whenever you're looking at these draws, man, I want at least one big game. Just one big game. That's at least what I want, you know. Um, but just me being real, I... I really, for Real Madrid, I think I really think it's it's it's, it's quarters max. For Real Madrid, I don't think they can get that far. Um, I'm I'm not sure. I think for Roma, I think they're out next round because I mean I mean looking at the potential of facing City, Bayern, Porto, PS. I think yeah, Roma are out next 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 round. I think City are good for I think minimum quarters. I think City are good. Um, if Dortmund can avoid Liverpool, if Dortmund can avoid Liverpool, I think they're good. And that being said, I think Dortmund can be Liverpool. So, if Dortmund face Liverpool, that is tits for tits. I don't think there's a, a favourite in that game. Because the way Dortmund are playing, I don't think there's, there's a favourite in that game. But 
that is touch and go. I think Dortmund can beat Roma. So as I told you, I think they can beat Roma. They can beat Leon. They can beat Ajax. They can beat. Um... See, Tottenham is another tricky one. I think they can beat Tottenham, but again, that's a tricky one because I think that could be a pretty tricky matchup based on you know what Lucas Muraka can, can do and and how they can play on the counter. So yeah, man, no, no. Look, I think it's it's it's, go it's going to be fun, but. I'm really looking at who Atletico Madrid get. I think because see that is I think I think I liked what happened in Group A there because I think everybody assumed Atletico would finish top, Dortmund would come second by by Dortmund finishing first. I just think that really opens things up for Dortmund and for Atletico Madrid. I do think that we could get quite a heavyweight kind of match. As I told you, you we could have UV Atletico, we could have Bayern Atletico, we could even have Real Madrid Atletico. So we could have a big heavy record. So I think for Atletico, they know that, man, we really screwed up not finishing top because we could have a tough game on our hands in the next round. But yeah, man, look, man. Um, but again, favourites, it's it's hard, man, because, again, I just think, I mean, before the Champions League was, um, you know, what was called out, you know, you would, I, I would have said, okay, boom, you know, Barcelona and everything. But I think... Looking at everything in now, going into the draw right right, right now. Um, I still want to keep with Barcelona, dependent on Messi. But I've really got my eyes on Juventus and Man City. You know, I think Man City and Juventus have got my eye. Real Madrid, Real Madrid are not sniffing anything. Um, I really, I'm really like liking what Ajax have done. I think So I think my eye is really on... No, my focus is on Juventus and uh, Man City. But I've got my eye on Dortmund, Ajax, and FC Porto. I think those are the three teams that I've got my, I've got my eye on. You know, and who knows, man? I think if FC Porto, who did very well in the, in the group, you can call it an easy group, but still, if FC Porto can avoid, um, if they can avoid Atletico, because if FC, FC, FC Porto will be hoping that they can get either United or Roma. You know, I think United and, and Roma are probably the... I think United, Roma and Schalke both today in the group. I think United and Roma are the two teams that, that, that they'll be hoping to get. So, hey, look, man, it's, it's going to be fun. So, hang out this Sunday. We will be focusing mainly... Obviously, we'll, we'll, we'll review the matches very generally. But I think the Sunday hangout will be fully focused on previewing uh, Monday's draw. I may do a live during Monday's draw. But 100% for sure, watch for my reaction afterwards on monday after the, the the draw is being made really excited really happy because i think i'm hoping fingers crossed this could actually be a really open champions league with some very surprising entrance in the quarterfinal semi-final stage base champions thanks for watching the video now think about becoming a football hot patron by pledging an amount each month and then gain access to exclusive content only on the football hot patron page peace Head over to the official sites at halffootballhot.com or just click over here.